One of the things I absolutely cannot stand is when the broadcast crew shows one play of a player, they point a guy losing a block, as you guys see, Tyler Linderbaum, losing to Vita Bea on this sack, and the broadcast crew basically changes the entire narrative of a player. Like, because of this one play, I saw so many people post on social media that is Linderbaum even that good. The truth is, Tyler Linderbaum is the best rookie offensive lineman in the NFL. Today, we're going to break down his tape. Let's just get right into it. Now, do note Tyler Linderbaum pass blocked 45 times last night. So a lot of reps and a lot of his reps were really good. One of the things I love with Linderbaum is he does a great job anchoring down. And you can see on this play, he does a good job sticking with Via. But it really starts when you go back here with the anchor. As he's going to get out of his pass set here, as he makes contact with Via, you're going to see right there, he's going to drop the anchor. If you don't know what that means... Basically, you're going to separate your legs the way he does here, and you're going to drop your hips. It's referred to as anchoring down during a pass set. Every single guy does it. Every single player does it. And it's really to help you stop a guy in his tracks. And on this play, you guys see Linderbaum does a great job. Now, 45 snaps, he did give up one sack. Obviously, that was early. But the rest of his pass sets were really good. But more than that, his run blocking, Linderbaum was absolutely phenomenal. Check this play out right here. Linderbaum does a great job with his angle, and he absolutely seals the defensive lineman off. Let's break this play down a little bit. Now, this is a power run, so he has the backside seal on the three technique. But what I like about this play is how he angles his body, how he positions his body so that his guy can't make the play on this run play. As he's going to reach, sometimes guys will just kind of keep their butts facing this way. But Linderbaum is actually going to kick his hips so his butt faces this way. That tells me Tyler Linderbaum understands angles. There he is. As you guys can tell, he turns. He makes contact directly with the guy. Does a great job with getting his helmet to the correct side. And then look at those hips turn. And that's a great job right there. He's created a backside seal here for the running back as the running back hits this hill here. And the back picks up six yards on this play. That's a really nice job right there. Let's get into the next rep. One of the things that I oftentimes talk about within offensive line play is referred to as finishing. Linderbaum does a great job on this play. He's going to double team out, make sure Vita Vea gets moved out, gets up to Devin White. He finishes the block on this 25-yard run by Lamar Jackson. This is such a nice job by the rookie offensive lineman to understand how much he needs to help his right guard. At the same time, as he initially makes contact here, he makes sure to help this guy as much as possible. Then he looks on and processes where he needs to get to and does a great job with his hands and getting to white and ultimately just driving him backwards, using those quick feet, chopping back and putting Devin White into the dirt. It's a really nice shot finishing by Tyler Linderbaum. When you talk about Tyler Linderbaum, his best ability and trait is his ability to reach on the inside zone run. He's really good in power on the seals. But on the inside zones, when it comes to reaching, he is top tier. This is what makes Tyler Linderbaum already, in my opinion, a top five center. His ability to reach is next level. Watch how far he reaches here. That right there is such a nice block by a rookie center on a veteran defensive tackle. 11 yards on this play right here. 100% because of Tyler Linderbaum's reach to the two-eye technique defensive tackle. He gets to the outside of him, he seals it off, and the running back on the inside zone is going to actually bend it right between that gap. This block right here by a rookie center is top tier, and I absolutely love it. I love the fact that he gets so wide on this inside zone, and he understands that he has a hard reach, so he takes a really massive step to his right, he really turns that foot, and he gets around number 56, and he creates a nice little wall right here. That's an absolute beautiful job by the rookie. Absolutely love it. Let's get into the next rep. Alright, you guys, check this next play out right here. You have an outside zone to the right. And watch how the offensive linemen are all able to reach to the right and basically open up a massive lane for Gus Edwards. This is just a really, really nice shot by the entire offensive line. But Tyler Linderbaum is the real deal. His ability to reach is absolutely special. As he gets out of his stance, he takes a really nice wide angle to the right. He's going to reach up to number 45. And look at the helmet. The helmet lands to the right of Devin White, which gives him that leverage that he needs. And he finishes. Once he makes contact with the guy, Linderbaum's ability to finish is top tier. This is such a nice job just sticking with the guy and really just driving him downfield. Like at this point, the linebacker is already 10 yards backwards. And Linderbaum continues to drive him and drive him. And White really struggles to get off the block. That's such a nice job by the rookie center. 
Now, I want to take a second really quickly to just kind of watch Lamar Jackson and how hard it is to stop a read option. You know, in my opinion, I think Lamar Jackson, as well as this Ravens offense, is so damn unique. They run inside zones, outside zones. They run man blocking. They run power blocking, duo. And then they put the read option into it, and it makes it that much more difficult to stop. Like, how do you stop this play? For reals, right? If you guys think about it, you have an unblocked man in Carl Nassib, and if Nassib takes the inside, Lamar Jackson pulls it. If Nassib takes an outside angle, Lamar Jackson hands it off to the inside. But the crazy part is you just don't have the numbers to stop this play. You have two guys here, and one of them is going to take the linebacker. You have two guys here, and one of those guys is going to take the linebacker. Like, you literally just don't have the numbers to stop this play. Now, of course, as Nassib comes downfield, he's going to really go after the running back. As you guys can see, he's squeezing this down to the inside. Jackson's going to just keep the ball. Now, the other guy that's kind of unblocked here, well, you have a guy coming in motion in Isaiah Likely who's going to take that guy. This play right here is so difficult to stop that I don't think people realize it. Now, of course, this play does not actually count because the fullback ends up getting called for a hold. I think it was a terrible call. I understand that from the ref that called it from the backside angle, it may have looked like a hold, but he lets go. As soon as the guy kind of pulls away, he lets go. And you can see it right there. He lets go with both hands. He gets his hands off that guy. And in my opinion, the referee from the back here is the one that throws the flag. I think it's a terrible job because the referee on the front side down here does not make the call, right? Um, either way, I think it was a bad call. Doesn't count regardless. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Now, of course, this is a Tyler Linderbaum video, but I, I do think being one of the only Ravens videos I've ever made on this channel, and do note, we're going to do a lot more Ravens content going forward, so subscribe if you're not subscribed. I do want to break this play down right here. You guys can see it. This is the touchdown that Duvernay takes. Um, 15 yards, but this play is really crazy if you guys think about it, because the option here is Lamar could keep the ball. You're going to see the right guard here pull around, and he's going to lead for Jackson. Now, Jackson is reading the furthest guy to the outside. In this case, it's this defensive tackle. Now, Jackson has predetermined he's going to hand this off, because he knows there's no way this guy's going to be able to jump the gap and make the play. Now, do know if Jackson had a guy further to the outside, and let's say Jackson decides to keep this, right? Let's say this defensive end was a little bit to the outside, and let's say this defensive end jumps and pops to number 13. Jackson could keep this, and he could technically follow number 70 here to the inside. So I do want to point that out, that there is a possibility within this play for Lamar Jackson to keep the ball. That's why this offense is so hard to stop you know no other team runs the football or has two running backs in or fullback in as much as the baltimore ravens do and they're still having success it's because they have 10 different things that could happen out of one or two plays harbaugh has really done a great job with the design as has greg roman let's get into the next row. ready guys so there's two plays left that i want to break down uh, this play right here is a negative play of tyler linderbaum and then we'll get into the final play which is a really nice play by him uh, but do know on this channel, one of the things I like to do is I like to break down positive plays, but I also like to break down negative plays. That way it kind of keeps the video fair and non-biased. In this play right here, you're going to see Tyler Linderbaum miss the defensive line game. Uh, you see that he takes number 50, and you can see that the other defensive tackle comes around. And Linderbaum has to be able to pass off number 50 there to the right guard. And then from there, he has to get off and get to the defensive tackle here who's coming on the defensive line game. And you can see that Linderbaum is trying to get off, right? You can tell by his body posture. You can tell by the way uh, his legs kind of line up. He's trying to get out there. He's trying to pick it up. And he's just a tad too slow on this play. Uh, and Lamar Jackson does take a hit. Not a major deal because it's obviously a completed pass for 22 yards. But this is one of the things that he has to work on. This is one of the things he has to get better at. It's not a whole lot of criticism because rookies always get better at processing. The game always slows down. Plus, this is Vita Bea, right? This is one of the best defensive linemen in the entire league. So I do think Linderbaum maybe had a little bit of butterflies. Uh, maybe he didn't know how fast or powerful or strong Via could be. Do know if this was the first play of the game, right? Uh, so he doesn't have to do a better job getting off the defensive line game and stopping number 92. Not a terrible job, but he could have definitely done a better job. With that being said, we have a pin pull concept where Tyler Linderbaum's going to get out there and do a great job on this 40 yard run by Kenyon Drake. Drake does a great job seeing the lanes develop, the gaps open. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. 
this play does not hit the way it hits without the offensive line, without Tyler Linderbaum, without all the uh, down blocks by all the offensive linemen on the defensive linemen. But Linderbaum does a great job, not only snapping the ball and getting out of his stance. People don't realize, man, this is the hardest thing to do on the entire offensive line. This is harder than playing left tackle and anchoring down, in my opinion. Being able to snap the football at a shotgun, get out and make contact, find the guy you need to block, and that to do a hell of a job. See, he does a great job with his helmet placement, and this is very noticeable throughout the tape. He has his helmet to the backside of this defensive lineman. The fact that he has his helmet to the backside means he has won this rep. There is no way, right? Because you use your helmet as leverage as an offensive lineman. Get your helmet on the right side and you win. And he does that. And obviously you guys can see that the left tackle also pulls and he gets up through the gap and he takes his guy. You got a couple of nice seal blocks by these three blockers, two linemen, the tight end. And this is a really nice job. And Drake sees it perfectly, man. How nice of a cutback is this for, for Drake? It's a great job blocking, but even for Kenny and Drake, I mean... He goes from outside, he makes sure to hit the inside here. He makes sure to go inside the tackle. And he cuts it back outside to avoid the block here. Runs away from the safety who takes a bad angle. And it's 40 yards just like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. If this is the first time you're on this channel, please consider subscribing. We do all 22 film breakdowns. And the Ravens are a team we're going to be breaking down more often. My goal is to do at least one weekly breakdown. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.